So today we're going to be testing out Data Button, which is like an AI agent that can essentially do a full stack code for you. So this is way beyond, for example, one click no code tools like Bolt or anything like that, because you can actually build the full stack and you can deploy it to a domain. It's very easy to do that. You can even, for example, integrate Stripe processing and you can do it without coding because you can just go back and forth in the chat and connect Firebase as well. So let's crack straight into this. We're gonna click, click get started. So you can also connect it to your GitHub account, which is super useful for pushing this live. And then once you've logged in, you can basically build whatever software you want. So inside the description here, you can just explain what it is, what you're trying to build, how it works, etc. So here's an example. We're going to say build an SEO job board app, add a login page, full stack application for SEO agencies trying to hire SEOs, allow them to upload jobs, etc. And then we're going to click continue. Now from here, what you can actually do is upload specifications, requirements, user stories, prompts, quotes, etc. And then I'm gonna use a custom GPT to prompt this. This is inside the AI profit boardroom. I'm gonna say for prompting data button, full stack AI creator, give the prompt to build an SEO job board app, add a login page, full stack application for SEO agencies trying to hire SEOs, allow them to upload jobs, etc., and then include information on requirements, user stories, specification, and quote. Now this just allows me to plan out the whole project using AI and this custom GPT. It's built, for example, like prompting cheap apps like RuCode, Klein, GitHub, Copilot, and also Bolt. So you can see here, for example, it's coming up with the specifications. So we'll be using Firebase for authentication, then adding some quotes, etc. And we'll copy that prompt and then plug it straight into data button. So let's download that. Then we'll drag and drop it in here. So that's uploading the requirements. Then once that's uploading, we can click on continue. It says here how many websites or images we can use for inspiration. Let's take a screenshot of for inspiration, like you can see. Obviously, you need to be careful with copyright and stuff like that. I'm, I'm not planning to launch a job app. This is just for a demo on a website. But you can see how we're building that out step by step. Then for creating accounts, you can actually link Fire, which will allow people to log in with, for example, with their Google accounts, for example. And also we can set up Stripe. So Stripe will allow for payment processing. You can also link this to Superbase as well. So there's some awesome stuff you can do with this. For authentication, let's go with Firebase. And now it is creating the app step by step. What I love about this is just how easy it is. And you can build MVPs. So you can see here the AI agent is saying, I'm taking the information you've provided and turning it into a plan so we can follow to build an MVP users will love. All right, so we filled in the description, the requirements, the inspiration, the integrations. Now, this goes far beyond something that you could build with Bolt.new or these other apps. Like this is creating something that's far bigger, right? If you just want to create a simple landing page, simple game, a simple tool, Bolt.new is great for that. But if you want to build something pretty epic like this, like you can see where it's even given us the idea for the SEO agency job board name, which is SEO Connect Hub. And you can see step by step, it plans out exactly how to build this. Plus you've got a chat if you want to ask any questions. And you can see here is hello, it's wonderful to chat with you. I'm excited to help you bring your SEO job board vision to life. I've created a detailed implementation plan that will take us from concept to a fully functional MVP. And the whole process is just so easy all you need is the idea and let's be honest like you could ask chat gpt specific for 20 different ideas in your niche and then you can launch all these apps share them for free use it for lead generation or whatever you want and you can also see there's a deploy option over here now if we want to add firebase we can do it like so it gives us the instructions and it's pretty easy to set up and now we can start going off and completing each task step by step so if we click on start task this is now going to start working its magic like you can see it's just going off and it's right, now I'm gonna create the landing page. So it's got the observations, the plan, and the next steps on what to do. Bear in mind, like I have zero coding experience, never learned code, but now I can build a full stack app using this process. So you can see some of the other steps as well. So for example, like building job posting management for agencies, implementing the job search and listing page, developing the agency dashboard, the job seeker dashboard, and creating a basic admin panel for content moderation. Now we've got an update. It said implemented professional landing page with clean navigation bar, hero section, features grid, and strong. If you wanna check this out, you can just click on here. So you're just gonna add a custom username that you can use on the app. Then you can click on deploy app and it's got the subdomain ready to go. So we've got the app deploying in the top right, like you can see right here. So it's got like a loading status. Now, once it's deploying, it might take a few minutes to deploy that, 
What you're gonna see is a, a loading section like this. Now we have the subdomain deployed and boom, look at that. That is very much inspired by Upwork.com. So it's got SEO Connect, you can sign in. You've got a sign in page, you can post a job, browse the jobs and create an account. And it's looking pretty good so far. That's just stage one. So we can mark that as done now. And now we can move on to setting up the Firebase implementation. So this is how people can log in, get their usernames, etc. So if we click on start task, we're going to go over to Firebase, go to our project. Then we need to go to project settings. So if you go to overview and then project settings, it would be better if it told you exactly where to go. Because this is pretty general, to be honest with you, if you're trying to figure this out for the first time. If you're not sure what to do here, what we can actually do is just take like a screenshot of that. And then I'm going to go over to Claude, paste in the image from data button and say how to set this up. So now we need to click the code icon. Here we go. Give the app a nickname. So we'll put data button here, register the app. Then we need to take the code from here, go over to data button, plug that in. And now all these links are linked, right? So if we go back here, we're gonna click on or get started, authorized domains inside the settings section. So go to settings, authorized domains. Then we're gonna copy this, we'll add that domain and we'll add that one. Here we go. You can also enable Firestore database, which will allow you to collect user data. And then we'll install this. So it's creating a login page for the app now. That was fairly simple and easy to do. And by the way, if you want the SAP for all this stuff that we're doing step-by-step, step, feel free to get it inside the AI profit boardroom, including all my best agents and everything else. So if you're getting stuck or if you need weekly coaching or you wanna jump on a call with me, you can join the AI Profit boardroom and we do weekly coaching calls plus you can watch back and ask any questions you have inside the community. So it's setting that up now and this was easier than I expected. I thought something would go wrong there. Usually if you're using something like Bolt, you get loads of errors, you have to go back and forth a lot, but this seems to be much, much easier, which is great. All right, so we've set that up now. This should be looking pretty good. If we go on to our domain, we've completed step number two, which is beautiful. And now we're just gonna keep running through each section step by step. So we've completed stage two, we can mark that as done. Let's get started with this. The rest of it should be pretty easy. It's really only the Firebase bit that's a bit tricky because you have to integrate connecting the domains and authorizing it. And that just takes a couple of minutes to get your head around the first time you're trying it. But apart from that, this is pretty simple stuff. I'm no genius. So this should be good to go now. I've got the job management dashboard, the implementation of the management system, the edit job page. We can test that it works as well. If you have any errors along the way, what you can also do is say, for example, whatever your problem is, you can say, okay, when I try to test this and it doesn't work, here's the error, right? And then, data button will actually fix any errors and troubleshoot them for you as well. Bear in mind as well, when you deploy, you wanna deploy the current version of it each time you wanna test the change. So for example, this was last deployed 19 minutes ago. So we wanna deploy the new version now. And once that's done, you'll get a successfully deployed app notification. Let's refresh the page, see what we got here. And if we click on post a job, which wasn't working before the deployment, now we can sign in with Google and test it out. And now we've logged in with the Gmail account. And that was beautiful. So now if we put in the details of the job, okay, SEO agency VA, we'll put in here job description for an SEO agency VA on ChatGPT, just so we can plug this in with some demo data. One thing to bear in mind here, when you're setting this up, you wanna make sure that you have, if you're testing this on the test domain, make sure that you have the test domain set up as well, right? So we've got, for example, juliangoldie.databutton.app allowed on the domains list. Otherwise you won't be able to sign in with Google. We're gonna just put in this dummy data right here as an example. Location, Zimbabwe of course, 100. We're feeling a little bit stingy. Maximum salary, one, 10 million, because sometimes you never know. And then we're gonna click create job post and we can just go off and create our job post. So it's all pretty simple and easy to do. I've shown you how you can log in, post jobs. You can build this within a few minutes. You sit down for half an hour, you can get this deployed and set up and it's really powerful. Like, it's pretty amazing. This is by far like the best way I've seen to create something, to create some sort of big. One thing to note here as well is that we haven't actually paid for this at all. So if we go to profile and then we're gonna select our plan, we're not on any pay plan here. This is completely free so far. They do have freemium options, but from what I've seen so far, I've not been charged, which is absolutely wild. Now, if you're making UI changes and that sort of thing, so for example, at this point, we're working on task number four, which is adding the job search feature. So you can see that you can actually preview different parts of the project. So where it said add job board, job card component search, we can preview that and have a look here. 
We can also look at the code that's been updated as well. So this is for the job search section. So it's easy to see changes as you go along, which is pretty cool. You can also change the brand colors. So if we say, okay, change the projects brand colors to these, it's now updating the code across the project, updating the index.css of the project files. You've got all these project files as well on the left-hand side. So you can see as well, you've got like the sign up page, the UI components, and you can see that's now been updated with our brand colors. So we added the orange. That's looking pretty nice now. The only thing that I would warn you about is the coding and the changes back and forth. They do take a little bit of time. So just be prepared for that. And then once it's done that, you can just redeploy this. So it's asking you to redeploy the app. We can click on yes. Okay, let's go. And then we can go back to our plan, right? So in the top left here as well, just one thing to note is you've got a plan and you've got a preview section. So preview, you can preview what's going on inside the project and then plan. You've got the step-by-step -step tasks for each section of this project. And then once you've done each part, you can just click on mark as done there and just tick it off. So that is deploying now. We've got that good to go. So let's open it up and it's looking a lot better. You can see we've got themed orange, the CTA buttons, orange, etc. We can sign in as well. Let's try that. And you can also see here on the sign up page, you can choose between being a job seeker or being an agency. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get the full step-by-step -step SAP for you or your team, so you can go off and create full stack apps with data button and there's no coding required here. And this is all free as well. You can see everything that I've done today is free. I've shown you proof of that. And inside the AI profit boardroom, I'll put the SAP directly inside there. This will also include the custom GPT for prompting data button, along with the full instructions on how to implement Firebase and follow all of this step-by-step. -step. Along with that, this also comes with an amazing community of people interested in scaling saving hundreds of hours and making more money with AI you can post in the community if you have any questions there's tons of courses and video tutorials like you can see in here that you won't find anywhere else and also there's weekly Q and A so if you want to just jump on a call with me ask me some questions so you can do that each week inside the Q and A's and if you can't make them the Q and A calls are recorded back link to that is inside the comments and description and if you want to get a free SEO strategy session that shows you how we take websites from zero to to 145,000 bits this month and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot, feel free to get that. Link in the comments in the description. We'll show you on this free link building acceleration session one-to-one. -one. We'll give you a free SEO domination plan so you'll get a custom tailored link building plan to generate more lead sales and profits to your website. You'll discover the secrets of SEO link building. We'll answer any questions you have one-to-one. -one. You'll learn the best link building strategy for your website plus how to quickly outrank your competitors in link building and how to 10 SEO traffic based on what's working for us and our happy clients. Feel free to get that link in the comments and description. Appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.